Hey, welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm going to discuss if statements in PHP. With an if statement, we have a condition. If some condition is true, we can do something. We can run some code. However, if that condition is false, then we don't do it. Here's a situation. Suppose we have a website, but you have to be 18 years or older to enter. We can write a program to check somebody's age. Let's say we have a variable age. Age will equal, make up a number, 21. To write an if statement, I would type if, then I'll need a condition within parentheses. What are we checking? Let's check to see if our variable age is greater than or equal to 18. Then after the set of parentheses, add a set of curly braces. If this condition is true, we can execute some code. If it's false, we skip over this code. So if our age is greater than or equal to 18, let's echo, you may enter this site. So I'm going to save, run this program, you may enter this site. What if this condition was false? Maybe my age is 15. In our if statement, this condition is false. That means we do not execute this code. We skip over it as if it never even happened. If you would rather do some other code at the end of your if statement, you can add else, then add a set of curly braces. If this condition is false, then skip over this code and execute the else statement. Instead, let's echo, you must be 18 plus to enter. Let's save. And here's our other message. You must be 18 plus to enter. If I were to change age to 21, something that's above or equal to 18, well, we execute the first statement, this portion of our if statement. You may enter the site. If this is true, do this. If not, do this instead. Between if and else, you can add else if. Else if, add a set of parentheses and a set of curly braces. If our condition is false, we would then check any else if statements before resorting to the else statement. Let's also check if age is equal to zero. Double equals is the comparison operator. You can check to see if two values are equal. You don't want to use a single equal sign because that is the assignment operator. PHP thinks you're assigning age to be zero. Use double equals for comparison. If somebody's age is zero, then let's echo a different message. You were just born. I will set variable age to be zero. Save. You were just born. This condition was false. We skip it. This condition was true, so we execute it. We never reach the else statement. However, somebody types in negative one, well then we resort to the else statement because both of these conditions are false. Let's change our else if statement. Let's say else if age is less than or equal to zero. Let's change this message. That wasn't a valid age. Negative one is not a valid age. Just to be funny, what if we said you are too old, too old to enter this site? I'll add another else if statement just to demonstrate that we can add multiple else if statements. Else if age is greater than or equal to 100, then we will echo, you are too old to enter this site. If I were to set age to be 101, the result states that you may enter this site. The reason that we're executing this if statement and not this else if statement is because starting from the top, we check the if statement first. If it's false, we continue down the line until we reach else. Age is 101. Since this statement is technically true, we would execute this code then skip everything else. The order of your if and else if statements does matter. I'm going to move this section of code to the beginning and make it the if statement. 
First, let's check to see if somebody's age is greater than or equal to 100. I will change this section to be else if. And that should work. You are too old to enter this site. You do need to pay attention to the order of your conditions. I'll give you another example. If statements also work with Boolean variables and values, we have a variable adult. Adult will equal a Boolean value of either true or false. Let's set that to be true. With your condition, you can check to see if your variable is equal, use double equals for comparison, true or false. If adult is equal to true, then we will echo, you may enter this site. Adult is true. You may enter the site. If adult is false, then nothing happens. So let's add else, echo, you must be an adult to enter. You must be an adult to enter. Now there is a shorthand if you're using the comparison operator followed by a Boolean value. You could just write the Boolean variable itself. That is also valid, and that's my preferred way of using Boolean variables within a condition. If adult, do something. So let's set adult to be true. You may enter this site. If it's false, you must be an adult to enter. So that is the second example. Let's go over an exercise. We will create a program to calculate somebody's pay, including overtime. We will need three variables. Hours. I'll set that to be 40 to begin with. They're working full time. A rate, as in a rate of pay. This person is making $15 per hour. And then a weekly pay. I will set that to be null to begin with. Depending on somebody's hours, they may or may not make overtime pay. Or if they work zero hours, they don't receive any pay this week. First, let's calculate their weekly pay if they work 40 hours or less. If hours is less than or equal to 40, then we will calculate our weekly pay with this formula. It's only hours times their rate rate of pay. Then at the end, let's echo you made at our placeholder this week. Within our placeholder, let's display the weekly pay variable. Pick your unit of currency. I'll use American dollars. I'll need to add an escape sequence. 40 times 15, I think that's 600. You made $600 this week. If we worked 20 hours, then we make half of that $300. What if somebody doesn't work this week? You made $0 this week. What if somebody enters in a negative amount of hours, like negative 1? Well, somebody made negative money this week. Let's write a condition to prevent that. Let's add an if statement. Then change this statement to be an else if statement. If somebody's hours are less than or equal to zero, then let's set weekly pay to be zero. Just in case somebody enters in a negative amount of hours, because you can't work a negative amount. Even if somebody enters in a negative number, like negative one or negative 10, our message still displays zero, which is what we want. Lastly, let's calculate overtime pay. We'll do this within an else statement. Here's the formula. Let's set weekly pay equal to the first 40 hours are going to be at the standard rate. Let's take our rate times 40. Then we will add within a set of parentheses, we need to calculate the overtime pay. Maybe an employee works 50 hours this week. Let's take hours minus 40. I'm going to add another set of parentheses around this multiplied by rate times 
because with overtime pay, at least in the United States, I believe you make one and a half times your pay, your hourly rate of pay. If an employee works 50 hours this week, their new weekly pay will be $825. That is an exercise involving if statements. And those are if statements in PHP.